up, guys? Dumbzo Danino. We back in this motherfucker on a Sunday, February twelfth, twenty twenty three, Super Bowl Sunday to be exact, guys. Yeah, what can I say? Um, I watched that game from beginning to end. I made sure I did, and it was a hell of a fucking game. Games like that are the types of games that I want to see in a Super Bowl. Like I know, I know. Um, there's two factors to every team, right? The offense and the defense. Um. And typically, in some games, or if not uh, the majority of the games, it's either it's it's very back and forth with either side. You know, you know what I mean. Like either you have a strong offense that puts away a lot of points, or you have a strong defense that suppresses it all. And I feel like in just casual um, sports, I feel like everybody wants to see a high scoring game or where the offense is going off, right? Because it makes it so exciting. Nobody wants to watch a game where the defense is super dominant and, and the, there's no points or anything getting scored. Now, if you're um, a, like an actual passionate person when it comes to the NFL like I am with MMA, I would completely understand if you really acknowledge the defense and actually admire how hard it is to keep the other team from scoring, right? But we're talking about the Super Bowl, probably the most watched sport event in America. I mean, ever, right? So everybody waits for this year or for this uh, day of the year, which is Super Bowl Sunday. And fucking, I know a lot of people are going to call into work tomorrow or there's even maybe some companies that celebrate it now tomorrow, right? I know that there's some, that there's certain schools that don't even work tomorrow because they acknowledge uh, certain holidays. But in reality, it's Super Bowl Sunday. You know, everybody wants to party and drink and whatever. And shit, I'm a, I'm a fucking, I'm a victim of it too. Uh, I had my cousin over. We ate some wings. We got some beers. You know what I mean? We had a great time. I worked tomorrow, but I made sure that I did not um, go over that limit. Um, and what really helped me out a lot, guys, and I actually want to share this with you guys because, I mean, I'm not a paid sponsor or anything, but I got this little device on Amazon. It's called BAC Track. They have a bunch of different ones. Again, I'm not getting, I'm not a spokesperson or anything. At the end of the day, I do whatever the fuck I want, whenever the fuck I want on this channel. I could fucking completely trash this shit if I want. But it's actually a pretty good product. Um, so <sighs> there's been moments where I've drank where I feel like I kind of went above my limit. Or there's times when I drink where I feel like, fuck, you know, like maybe should I have another one or maybe should I don't? And I don't because I, I feel like I'm uh, ultra responsible. But this little BAC track thing, it's basically a breathalyzer, but like in the form of a, you know, like a pocket. Um, it makes it easier to do that. So what I was doing with my cousin, I mean, he was clowning me the whole time. He's like, why the fuck do you buy that? Like, you don't need that. And then all of a sudden, after every fucking drink that we had, we'd wait 15 minutes and blow into the thing. And we'd be like, holy fuck. And we would compare each other, right? Because I'm a smaller guy. He's a bigger dude. And it was clear that I was getting more intoxicated than he was. Ultimately, after four hours of watching the game and maybe five or six beers later, I blew a max of 0. 0.5. I just blew a one right before this stream and I started and I blew a 0. 0.3, which is, I mean, it's it's all within the legal limit, which is crazy. And I was uh, telling one of my friends that, hey, I blew a 0. 0.5 and I felt like I was fucking great, dude. Like, I, I, I felt like I was in control. I had peak confidence like everything that i want whenever i'm drinking alcohol i had i was at the peak um obviously now on the come down you know you get a little sleepy you get a little tired i was debating if i even wanted to stream today but you know i'm pulling through it and actually did it and I obviously i don't feel drunk anymore i feel like the only thing that you got to fight now is to make sure that you're hydrated and in doing so i got water so throughout the stream i'm also gonna be drinking water and shit but it's a cool gadget to have, dude. If you like drinking alcohol and you like to learn where you're at and you like to be in full control of your body and know how to pace yourself and not just fucking down shots and down drinks like all the fucking time and then eventually know you black out, I would highly recommend one of these. Not only for the sakes of legal driving, which I would highly recommend it even more, but for the sakes of just learning how to have a good time responsibly and not going overboard, guys, because I feel like with this, if I do so want to, I could drink throughout the week. I could drink on a Sunday and still enjoy myself. So I just wanted to share with that. Again, I'm not a paid sponsor. And again, I can completely trash this shit if I want. 
the the fucking you guys should make black ones. I don't want to fucking carry one. It's white. You know, everybody's going to get all nosy. Uh, you guys need to make a rechargeable version because if this shit still runs on battery, that's fucking terrible. Uh, the keychain is cool. Um, the display is cool. I mean, the design is cool, but shit. Like, the only thing I don't like is that it's white and that it's uh, battery powered. You guys should make it rechargeable. But again, guys, that's me. I'm just spreading the love. I'm just spreading what I think people need to do if they're going to be drinking. Um, well, that's that's a, quite a, one of the longer rants that I've had. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, I don't know what, what else to say. I believe this is part number six. I could be wrong. Five, possibly. Um, but yeah, but fuck this. Let's just get right into it. Damso Danino. Damso Danino. We back in this motherfucker with part number five of GTA Vice City story. So let's get into this, bitch. Um, you already know what I'm going to do here. Making sure everything's copacetic. I'm trying to fuck shit up during. <sighs> but yeah, guys, that was one hell of a fucking game, if I do say so myself. Um, the Chiefs, man, you can't count them out. And that's what I was telling my cousin, man. Because, I mean, I, personally, I was going for the Eagles. He was going for the Eagles. He actually had $200 on the Eagles. And I, I just told him, I was like, dude, like, look... The Eagles, they started off strong. They, they were doing crazy plays, and they did what they had to do. But at the end of the day, the Chiefs are a second-quarter team or a second-half team, If to be fair. They always do the best at the, after the second half. There's something that goes on in that locker room or whatever. Like, they probably give their opponents this confidence that, okay, well, no, we're good. And to be fair, also, Patrick Mahomes did have a lot of – um complications with this and where the fuck are all the cars at man no cars are spawning i guess i'll just run over there um but yeah with the whole complications that um patrick mahomes was having with his ankle definitely posed a lot of um um problems for the chiefs and a lot of hope for eagle fans but fuck dude like you got just got to give it up to that kid man I, be, I believe he's my age and he's over here doing what he's doing and i'm over here doing what i'm doing so i i, I can't even fucking hate on the guy but you just got to put respect where respect's due dude and like you just got to accept it that's probably the next generation um greatest qb you know what i mean so props to the chiefs props to pa patrick mahomes and also props to the eagles dude they, they put on a fucking good fight too to only lose by a field goal and also too, like the the um the IQ of their head coach to be able to acknowledge that dude, we should just hit the field goal and call it good after this. You know what I mean? Instead of just playing like balls to the wall, which they did, and that's ultimately what led them to victory because they only had what like the Eagles was left was like was left with three seconds or five seconds to score the that uh, to score a touchdown. It wasn't gonna happen. They were at the 20 yard line or whatever. And what what was even more smart was the fact that instead of just kicking a, a, a normal kickoff, the Eagles hit a, I mean, uh, the Chiefs hit a squibble kick, which make which forces them to catch the ball and forces them to run it. You know what I mean? Which ultimately led them to losing another five seconds off of their clock. It was great football at the end by uh, by the Chiefs. You know what I mean? I, I feel like personally, when I think about the Chiefs are the type of people who like are very aggressive on their drives. They always try to do crazy things and crazy stunts. But at the end of the day, it's super calculated. They understand that, hey, we're, we live in a new age of football to the point that we can take um, these kinds of risks. And they did. They still played the normal Chiefs football, taking all these risks and all these scrambles and shit like that. And it worked out for them. But ultimately, they still use their intelligence to be able to secure a win. So again, it's just great football, elite football at its finest. One of the better Super, Bowl, Super Bowls that I've seen. Um, again, I Rams fan. No, I, I'm not here to talk shit. Ultimate respects to the Chiefs, ultimate respects to the Eagles. Um, I mean, we had our time. Right, we had a, we had our time, but this time it was it was definitely the Chiefs' time. 
I would love to see a healthy Rams versus um, the Chiefs, though. I, I, I honestly think that they might edge it out. But, you know, who knows? But again, that was, that was great football. Great fucking football. <sighs> well, yeah, that's that's enough of me ranting. Um, I don't know how many shorts I'm going to pull out of that shit. But... Yeah, we're just going back to the auditorium. Going to Lance Vance. Falling off of bikes and shit. But, yeah. Victor V, what's poppin', partner? What? What's poppin'? Popcorn. the fuck are you talking about? Isn't that what you guys say? What's poppin'? I uh, think that must be Lance. What? You got everything sorted? No trouble? Of course. Hey, I was just giving you shit, you know. Yeah, whatever. Great, great. Here's your brother. What's poppin', baby? You! Lance, what's going on? You're a freaking cop! You think you can mess with Lance T. Vance, you Hey, bum? chill. Chill? Hola. Hola, America. Yes. You're right. I am a cop. I was going to tell you. I, I need money. I want to work with you guys. I ain't going to bust you. Not now you ain't. I'm going to bust you. <laughs> Let's go. I am going. Stupid ass fucking Lance. Bro, Lance is the one that got into this shit um, before I did. Always making the wrong fucking calls. Uh, okay, let's just take this van. Oh, uh, there's a a faster car right here. Get him, Vic. We gotta find out what he knows. All right, let's go, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, this is all fucking Lance's fault, man. Hey, chicken fried steak is actually pretty good. I've, I haven't made that shit personally. I have tried it, I believe. Kind of, it's unique, but it's actually good. Oh, man, that's our money! Get him! What the hell is our money doing in there? You never know when you're gonna need a few grand. This guy's an idiot. That's what fancy foreign religions will do to you, listeners. Thanks to my religion. Holy shit, everybody's running towards the money. I got a place we can take him. Come on. <laughs> that was easy. <sighs> oh. I don't know about this, Lance. It's either this or kill him. What do you think, Forbes? Uh, I definitely prefer it this way. We'll let him sweat <laughs> for a while. We'll be back. You sit tight, buddy. Steer around my vessel, baby. Uh, fuck. I don't know who, who, um, who sent me this. I didn't even catch that. Uh, does that show up on the brief? I'm not getting to read all that. Fuck that. <laughs> uh, that's Forbes. I don't want to do any of those missions. Let's go back to Lance and do some of those missions. Dude, but holy fuck. That, that's not the only thing that happened this weekend. I completely forgot. I'll let the news play out. As to his whereabouts, call us on 555 Fund Us. VNN, cashing in the chips of truth. Ba -da 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 -da. Um, but yeah, guys, this wasn't the only thing that happened this fucking weekend. We had a crazy ass UFC event happen in Australia. Boy, was that fucking nuts. First and foremost, 
Shout out to the boy at Year Rodriguez, putting on for Mexico. You already know how the fuck we do it out here. <laughs> Gotta look out for the Mexicans out here. Um, especially the ones that ride out to different countries who bring their culture, who carry the, the lifestyle of a Mexican and show it on full display in a foreign country. That shit was fucking beautiful. And I'll get right into that after this cutscene. Pink, no blue, no white. I'll take all three. Hey, 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 I'll call you back. What's your problem, man? You're the huh? problem, Lance. My problem? My problem is you're going to have us both killed because you're a moron. I told you not to get a sit so deep. Uh, shut up and grow some balls. What, tough guy? What did you say to me? <laughs> when will you grow a fucking brain? Hello, boys. Uh, mom. mom! Victor, put your brother what? down. What are you doing here, Mom? Mom's I'm white. cleaning up my act. I'm off the drugs for good. Here we go again. Can I get a drink, Lance, honey? Who's that? That's Javier. He's been very sweet to me. Oh, give me a break. I'm tired of your bullshit, Mom. You come here to ruin things for us again. How can you say that? I raised you! Aunt Enid raised us, not you! I'm clean. Give me a chance, Victor. Please? Nah, you can stay with Lance, Mom. What? But I don't want any trouble. I got enough horse shit <laughs> dealing with him. Uh, Vic. Dead ass. You gotta go meet that friend of yours at the airport? <clears throat> what? I'll explain on the way. Mm. Oh, right. You too. Stay out of trouble. Lick me, senora. Mm. Hora! Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll get back into my little rant. What friend at the this airport? Shit. This guy is a dealer who's getting out of the business. He's getting us a file about this big shipment coming in. How much is this gonna cost? You gotta speculate to accumulate. We're yuppies now, bro. Um. But yeah, going back to what I was saying with, uh... But yeah, you're Rodriguez. Like, it, it it was beautiful to see because um. This dude's plane could be leaving any time, so let's pop big time. Yeah, it was uh beautiful to see because uh. Oh what? Now you can place markers? I'm not gonna fucking do that anymore. It was it was cool to see because me personally, um, if you've been watching my shit, you you know that I'm Mexican. I'm not like a super diehard prideful one but i do acknowledge where i'm from and i do take some pride in it I mean, you have to. um and it was very cool to see because early on whenever i was growing up everybody that, that i would see at parties and stuff they'd wear the tejanas and all that stuff i mean shit i remember showing you guys the fucking tequila bottle that, we, that i got my dad um that was literally a tejana <laughs> anyways it was cool to see because he, uh, yeah, Yair Rodriguez, after he won, or, yeah, well, after he won, he took his dad's Sahana, put it on, and wore it whenever he got the interim strap. Not only that, but another another part that I really acknowledged was the fact that, um, well, one, first thing about Mexicans, they're hard, hardcore uh, Catholics. Uh, I should be looking at the map, actually. Uh, it's by the airport. Uh, I can Thank get you, right here. That's all we have time for. Um, and yeah, they, they oh, fuck. Remember. Oh, man, why are we messing around? Come on, let's go. Can you swim, motherfucker? Okay, you can. Thank God. Um, but yeah, like I said, Mexicans are typically, typically, I'm not, I'm not going to speak for all Mexicans, but they're typically, uh, diehard or very hardcore, like, Catholics. And I thought it was pretty cool to see his mom, like, basically, um, give him the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit prayer, and then send him into the ring like that, right, right before he was in a fight. And that's very, like, it hits, it hit, and shit like that, it kind of hits home. Because I feel like there was times where, like, let's say I would, I would go to school or whatever. And right before I went onto the school bus, my mom would do shit like that to me. Or anything, like, in specific. Um, I mean, it doesn't happen that much anymore, but it's cool to see that, that there's still people who do that. Um, so that's that. But again, shout out to Ayer. He, he put on a fucking masterclass performance against Josh Emmett. Those fucking leg kicks, the, the, how dynamic he is. It's, it's hard to, to match anybody with that. Early take, though, I do think Volk edges out a win versus him because Volk is just there. I just heard my card. Um, 
we're going on to the main event. Like, look, I, if you saw the match, obviously Islam won. I'm not going to sit here and say that Islam dominated both. Like, that did not happen. And I clearly understand why people kind of think the other way. But that's kind of more like, as a casual, I would understand why people understand or look at, look at it that way. All right, all right, I'm here. Fuck. As a casual, I, I would see how people look at it that way. But if you yeah, actually good. understand, you're too late, man. I told you, first come, first serve. Man, that was our file. Who did you sell it to? Some dude over at Terminal C. He got a private jet and a private army. Holy I fuck. don't think you want to mess with him. We'll see about that. I gotta focus up. Uh, I don't even have any guns. Be around my vessel, baby. All right, let's go. I'm supposed to ask permission to board. Um, Gordon Morgan, all right, I'm trying to think about uh, what I was just saying. Um, but yeah, if you're an actual true MMA fan, and if you actually not even that, if you understand how the MMA scoring criteria works, there's literally a whole criteria about how to score um, MMA. Ah, oh, fuck it, he's like he's in the actual airport. Now. Yeah, that just that woman was just okay, so there's like literally I said like a you whole wait. scoring criteria for MMA just like there's with boxing Just like there is with any other uh, combat sports If you actually read it you would completely understand why Volk etched or why Islam Makhachev etched out that victory Like again, I'm not saying he dominated it. Three, three to two is fair The fact that somebody scored that shit a four to one for Islam is kind of uh, You know what I mean? Like I, I don't know if I completely agree with that Holy shit. Bro, I don't have guns. I don't have guns. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. Fuck! Ugh. But yeah, if you actually know how to score MMA, you'll know that Islam won that 3-2. to two. You know what I mean? It's... You just gotta know, right? And the 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 comparison that I like to make is like a lot of people didn't think that Mayweather was a fighter, right? But he knew how to win fights. And I'm not saying, and I'm also not gonna say that Volk doesn't know how to win fights or Islam is the best at winning fights. But Islam did enough, what or he did just enough to win that fight. It's plain and simple, you know what I mean? Um, should they run it back? Yeah, fuck yeah, why not? Hell yeah. But I don't know. No blue. No white. I'll also, too, it was interesting because yesterday one of my cousins brought up to me. He's all he's all after watching this fight, Islam is not what as good as Habib. And Habib is better than Islam. And I agree with that. You're carrying right that's now. a top or that's a topic for another day. If you want to hear me talk about that, tune in tomorrow at Rene It Takes around eight could be leaving any uh, Pacific time on Monday. So let's pop big time. But that, like, he, he's not, he's not as good as. So you knocked out a few puppies. Good for you. Habib, I think Habib would have actually finished. Well, but that's just my opinion. We'll never know. But yeah, congrats to Islam. I don't want to take any anything away from him. I mean, he got that victory. It was earned. Um, he's a pound for pound king. And also to put some respect on Volkanovski's uh, name for actually doing a lot better of a of a job versus the Dagestanian style wrestling than any lightweight has. And let's keep in mind that Volkanovski is not a natural lightweight. He fights at featherweight. So the fact that he jumped up in weight and put on that kind of performance is fucking crazy to me. But yeah. All I got. Excuse for a body you have. I'm really not happy about the man time man that told me this man. Especially people who put mothers, mothers found in this country, covered wagons with full uteruses. If you didn't have a mother, you would be a sec. Alright, let's go, Lance Vance. And fucking get shot up and die again. I 
don't want to take that car. This is my grandma car. <laughs> I should have. You know what? I should go back and kill that guy. I actually need that pistol. What the hell is he watching? He's been watching the State of the Union address. Thank God we campaigned successfully to get Crow off the radio in this town. And I don't like it. And nobody should be able to buy it. Yeah, I need that fucking gun, dude. And maybe a fast car would help too. But I need that fucking gun. Captain. Bro, his homie's just walking away like if nothing happened. Well, to be fair, nothing did happen. See the issue. You know what, mister? That kind of trash doesn't need to be on the radio. Especially songs about doing yoga and, and how to make love for three days without the public. Fuck yeah. At least I got both of them. Yeah, let them start coming over here. You can kill that guy, Lance, while I get this fucking gun. It's over. Don't get me angry! Lance, shoot the guy that's next to you, you fucking idiot. Oh, wait. Dude, I'm gonna die. <sighs> Alright, another tactic is I need to get that fucking armor. This is ridiculous, dude. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy I'll buy back the um the weapons. I don't even have anything. This is stupid. Yeah, I need to stop by um and get the armor at that fucking spot. Look up the fucking weapon map. I know a way around. Not gonna be stuck on this mission for another minute. Pink, no blue. What friend at the airport? This guy is a dealer who's getting out of the business. He's getting us a file about this big shipment coming in. How much is this gonna cost? You gotta speculate to accumulate. We're yuppies now, bro. Hit delete. I know it is the end. Um, it says there's body armor, right? Holy shit. Like, right here. Uh, well, how do I fucking... This dude's plane could be leaving any time. So let's pop big time. He is. You should probably go into politics. Brownie... Instead of hit R3 to skip the trip. It's patriarchy. I guess not. Calculators are a way of keeping women down, just like slide rules were in the 60s, of ruining families. In my opinion, we are all one family. Really? Especially you thought you have a lot in the cards. If you did, you know what, mister? If you did, you'd understand. The city has lost its It used to stand for something. Now it's just about real estate speculation and Should be right around the corner right here. Everyone is alive and looks up and is just like me. Stand on their front long 12 gauge shotgun. Yeah, it should be right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Yep. Anyway, let's take a quick. Alright, maybe that's what I need. Why are we messing around? Come on, let's go. Hey, Michelle. Hello, so you haven't got a family, you little turd? No, 
Yeah, there's a gun or something over here. Hopefully this is the one with the... Um... Yes! Alright, perfect. Alright, and now I do... Lance, get the fuck out of my... Oh my god, dude. You're literally the one bitching about time and you're just in my way. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're both consenting adults. Um... Thank God it's right around the corner. Commitment. I'm going to get you shot as you little shit if it's the last thing I do. Please. Oh my God. How the hell are these street lights going to offset my car that bad whenever I hit them? I mean, it's not as bad as GTA 3, but it's still pretty fucking bad. This is a perfect example of why the government shouldn't be funding the media. All right, let's go. All right, like I said, this time off, we um, we are a lot better. We just need a fast car. Mm. <laughs> the last thing I need is a fucking cop. Alright, right, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, but in the same way a car crash is sexy. But really, afterwards, all you are left with is a broken leg and a bottle of antithesis. And the muffler is a little But what I do know is I am Maurice Chavez. This has been pressing issues, and I think we have shown that liberal debate is well healthy. One. Fuck, I missed that one. My closing statement. Alright. Bro, aim lock on. Don't get me angry! Yeah, we'll hold him there. Hey, you're gonna die. I'll kick your asses! Come on, you mothers! Well, do something, Lance, you fucking idiot. You're not even doing anything. Oh, now you're doing it. Say hello to All right, perfect. <sighs> do I get to fly that what jet? What the hell are they doing here? I'm guessing we're not the only ones your contact turned away today. I'll get the file. You're about to be wasted. I forget that you can hit um RT LT or R2 R2 to like go Let's to, like, hey bro, this cat select really um knew how to drive. who you're aiming There's at. There's some stylish shit in here. Never mind that. Did you get the file? Sure. No problem. No problem? I could have used a little help out here, ass brain. Yeah. Take it easy, Dipshit. bro. It's all good. Let's take the file and get the hell out of my sight. That better not have increased the like the beef, quote unquote, with like the other games. Because just like on San Andreas, your business uh, can get hit and taken over. And that's all dictated on how much um, issues you have with uh, other gangs. Would be nice to get some more armor. Folks who know a lot about guns and boats, including one lucky guy has turned his passion into a job. State executioner Jason McKay. I love that guy's work. Hell yes, it's the turn, you know. And we'll also talk to a couple of boys. No. Nope. a new kind of dynamite fish. First, a regular feature, you and your boat. Now, let's talk about the fundamentals of what to have on your boat. This is a bit akin to last week, 
But then it was about the basics. I wonder if that if his gentleman's club has been you built know, already. It's a big I'll go check it out. I was just saying I thought that was it with the neon light. Leave the women folk at home. Hey man, they get bored and they ruin everything. Mystify. Fishing with your best friend is a lot of fun, man. A couple of men on a boat. We don't need We're, out nature. We're all alone. Hell yeah, look at that. Just like Let's go check it out. I, bought a fake I don't think I can develop it any more than I, than I did, but Jesus. Damn, look at that shit. Where's all the bitches at? Uh, that's the a mission. This is the map, I think. That's the Empire mission. Oh, it's right here. I wonder what that does if you uh, do like missions for the Empire. Yep. Yep. High roller. I mean, I'm assuming that you probably get more money out of it. Possibly. I don't know. Fuck yeah. Oh, and there's a save file in here. Is that a light? What is that? Hmm. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Be All right, let's do this. <clears throat> Forget I have this shit sometimes. So you want information, and what better source than a cop, right? Hey, Vic, see? Great minds think alike. Yeah, fools seldom differ, dipshit. You want info? How about this? There's a dealer's boat mooring up downtown today. The dealer's not the trusting kind, and he'll only meet one on one. He's carrying money and coke. And he doesn't believe in bodyguards. Why should we trust you? If I'm lying, genius, I'm a dead man, right? I'll meet this guy, Vic. You can watch over me, and I'll see you down there. Get a good vantage point to watch over Lance. Matt. I have a fucking binoculars? A host, talk. I'm sorry, Carl. I'll tell you, fish can't resist a good stink bait. Or a jerk bait. I do that a lot, too. It's really private, you know? I mean, what am I gonna do? Fishing makes me horny sometimes. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Larry. No. You know, it's like football, you know, in a change of rooms after a big win. Oh, hey, watch out, Bob! <laughs> oh. <laughs> there, got the fucker. <laughs> That's the top of the, that <laughs> biker gang spot. At the same time, it's good, too. Oh, yeah. Bro, get you know, the, the you fuck out of my way. The two things you like equal. You know? Hopefully there's like a sniper or something up there. Nah, they just give me binoculars. Ooh, there's body armor. Alright, just making sure I know what's to zoom in and what's not. Bro, it's gonna be clear that this fool's gonna start getting shot at and then he's gonna get on the fucking boat and leave. We have to go kill him. Plain and simple. what I fucking tell you? Holy fuck! <laughs> Lance just got kidnapped. Dark at 6 yeah, this mission's kind of cool because I have to like basically be on the side right here and kind of chase them. Eternals or liberals or anybody else gets your way, you good time, just shoot them. Survival of the fittest, man. That's how I got here. I mean, to think. Ora. That's not what I was supposed to do. Swimming around my mom's love tunnel. 
because I have the highest form of life on Earth, all from that one day. That oh my God, Vic. That's what I call him. You know what? Uh. Whatever. Let's take a quick break. You're listening to Bait and Switch, and even though the environmentalists cry every time we say it, this is VCPR, Vice City Public Radio. And this is Jonathan Freeler, formerly of Channel 4 News, now here at half the pay because that's what public radio is all about. Doing good, feeling very good about yourself. But like I told my divorce attorney, I'm going to stop. Am I supposed to get on that fucking ship? Lance has been taken aboard that ship. Rescue him. <laughs> okay. Switch is brought to you by Double Ot Lager Beer. When you're trying to ease the pain of life with a TV cowboy for a president, do it fast with Double Ot Lager. Now back to Bait and Switch. Okay, you're back on Bait and Switch. Now me and Bobby here. Is there not like a? Uh, oh, dude, I have to jump way the way ramp on there. Man of tears. So climatic. In a good spot in the cove or open ocean, that big dumb That's probably the best shift he's done in this fucking game. At the Vice City Aquarium this week, it I don't think I, I made that. Size of your head. Yeah, uh, and I tell you what, oh, I did. I in my and watch you and I killed them. Fuck yeah, bitch. All right, what am I supposed to do? I have to go inside. <clears throat> I thought like there was still gonna be more people on that fucking ship, but I guess not. Hey, get him! Stand now, huh? Mm, not that way. Hey, dead man. So what? I can't shoot Stop him from play, here? Asshole. Why can't I shoot him? Probably more people that I have to encounter. Yep. Your life is about to expire. I'll get that health. Just make sure I have everything full. Uh, get that gun. There you go. <clears throat> hey, you! Know the asshole! Oh, fuck! Somebody had a fucking... Here we go again! Saving Lance's dumbass because he's I a fucking I thought this guy idiot. didn't use bodyguards. Forbes' is info is seriously out of date. I'll get us some transport... You get what we came for, and I'll meet you on shore. <clears throat> Collect the contraband. Couldn't I have just gotten it whenever I was up there? Vic, you idiot. to hell clearly <laughs> collect the contraband I already did no oh wait there's more no huh? kids toy. fuck Bro, where am I getting shot from? Oh, there's probably still more people on top. Huh? Hey, I got more. Yeah, oh, there's another guy up now, there, too. Huh? 
Holy shit, there's fucking three dudes up there. Take those binoculars. Take that contraband. And I'm sure this is made so I could see where these dudes are at. This is one right there, one right there. Two over there, two right there. The dude that I killed and my car with the cracked windshield and the door open. Yep. Nothing new. On this side. Your biggest mistake being born. This is a shortcut to hell. I might as well clear these dudes out. Can I not jump over that? There you go. This might sting a little. Perfect. Now, there should be two more dudes in the very back. Yep. Wow. There's one more guy. Yep. Get off the shipment on oh, Lance Shore. There's a bike right there. See, what I thought too right now is that I, after I got that last contraband, that it was gonna um, spawn even more, dude. Come on. And a Roman orgy somewhere with a centurion on. Or the girl yeah, I knew that was gonna fucking happen. Fuck that bike, though. I'm taking this. Gym five bow, valio verga los eagles. Hey, it's football, my boy. Make sure that no one can see it back there. Nice. That's all I can Weird. say. I already I gave my take hurry. on it. The sooner I offload, it was a good game. Good fucking game. That's elite football at its fucking favors. finest. Hey, catch you later, bro. Hey. But I was saying earlier me, though, Jim, Jim, is like that's probably what everybody wanted to see out of a Super Bowl. You know, people who are really into football, they respect the defense and they respect. The fact that it's not just the offense playing, there's also a defense part of it. But a casual person watching the fucking Super Bowl, they want to see shit like that. They want to see very high output off offenses and shit like that. So, I mean, ultimately, it was a good game. But on to the next one. Hora! Uh, so what now we're gonna kill fucking this cop Are they at least feeding his ass? Did you mute? Oh, fuck. It barely happened, I think, right now. Or am I tripping? Did you barely catch that right now, Jim? Let me know. It fucking... It, it does that shit. It's stupid. Should be good now, though. Thank you, Abe. Thank you for spotting that shit out. But uh, let me know when, when you notice that, because fuck...
You know what I'm talking about. Testicles, family jewels. And women, they paint their faces yellow and are sometimes called Brian walking the streets of the uh, village. Where the yeah. fuck am I? And that, my boy, is the future, like it or not. Hello, Richard. <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't know why, but the capture card, it has a, has a weird habit of doing it. And it, like, um, whenever you're, whenever you're looking at, um, like, your audio levels and shit, it'll just, like, stop. I don't know, it's weird. I don't know if that's ever happened to you. <clears throat> Something's not right about this place. Yeah! I didn't know bikers were a disco. <laughs> 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 you're kind of welcome here. I want to bear back the little one. What? Oh, <laughs> shit. It's two for one at the boys club. <laughs> I'll just shoot them. What the fuck? I brought a gun. Oh fuck! This guy's fucking me up, though. Ora! Then they brought guns. All right, give me some some space. How do you kneel down? That's not fair. They can kneel down, but I can't. Fuck you. Oh my god, this guy's actually... Lance, where's your gun at, dude? This was literally gonna kill me. Fuck you. Man, Forbes screwed us again! Let's get back and screw him! Metaphorically Ora. speaking. <laughs> That's what I'm about to say, dude. Calm the fuck down. <sighs> Ora, no, 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 no! I'm about to die! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Go! Oh my god. Go fucker! Oh my god! There you go. Dude, I was about to die again, dude. That would have been really bad. This fool! <laughs> and that fool's also Holy shit! The fucking steering on this shit's crazy. Look at that! Like I might die. Oh fuck! I got him. I didn't mean for us to kill him. It's a little late now, Lance. Was I not supposed to kill him? Fuck it. it happens. GTA. What do you want me to do? Okay. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I literally thought I was about to die again right now. You know what? Let me just steal a car so I don't have to worry about flying off and shit like that. <laughs> Sounds good, buddy. Hey, you have a great night, Jim 5 -0. Love you. Maybe next year. I, don't know, I think you're a Niner fan, so maybe next year. Talking about, and I'm gonna find out. Everybody, give it up to my Mayor boy Jim Five O. Uh, what's the time up there? I could probably s squeeze in one more mission, but I just, oh, dude, I, I need to go see where the help. Help and armor. We'll sure. have more from the archives of the Vice City Broadcasting. Oh, well, there's some right around the corner. 
I'll be here somewhere. Yeah, I'll try it. Next is New World Order, international news that takes you around the world and reaffirms you should stick to the safety of your planned subdivision. I love Florida. It's a gift to America. This is BCP. <laughs> I was telling me he's running things down there. Like, at their ass. Uh, such a good kid. Yeah, fuck that guy. I hate Lance. Lance is too much of a liability. Oh my god, bro. I didn't even mean to do that. Let's make sure it stays down. By controlling it properly. So how do we do that? Well, for Where's the body armor? I'm gonna need some of that too. I think it's more um, on the airways, west. But so also gotta by go back. A lot of things are in America. And that's sad. Here children grow up happy. Oh Go to God, overfunded dude. public schools where they can't pray. Play ball in the street, then have a lemonade and some heavy petting. But the storybook childhood isn't. I don't think I should have. Watch it, Greaseball! You look dead already! Dude, I literally just got health. Now I'm about to fuck. What the hell was that? Lance. Or Vic. Where's that fucking armor, man? literally told me the armor somewhere around here bug and i'll say i gotta keep moving because then the cops are gonna find me oh there it is oh and there's a cop right next to it he's about to fucking take out all my armor again can i just fucking get this yes hopefully that cancels it out And big saddlebags. Hey, let's fucking take care of the stupid. I'm gonna carry your new Ora, who the fuck is oh my god, that was not even the best idea then. I didn't know you could die doing this. Nah, shit ain't even worth it. And I still have the cops on me. It's a fucking really bad rampage mission. Uh, there should be some more health around here. Yeah, there actually is some at that corner. What about down there? Gotta go back up, take a left. Yo, bikes are like mamas, born to ride. Somewhere around here. New. No. Is it me or did I just get more health when I stepped into the ambulance? The health is right there, but I just saw it. But I saw the even try and deal with all that all right last mission i'm gonna call it gotta go to bed myself too ah just in time bro <laughs> yeah 
Lance, I'm through with this, man. What you mean, this dump? Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm through with this bullshit. I don't want to be a damn drug dealer. It's for assholes. Vic, don't go soft on me now. I got what we finally needed. I know how we can get our hands on one big shipment completely free. We can finally get Pete the health care he needs. Look, Lance, I am a long way from being a good guy. But drugs just mean trouble. I agree, man. 100% agree. That's why we're going to get this one big payday for all the hard work and split. Jerry Martinez. It's his coke. Uh, fuck it. You know what? Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That is a real man. Let's pop. Uh. We're gonna make it big, Vic. I have a dream. I have a dream. Your dream is my nightmare. Don't <laughs> be like that, man. Look, I've even arranged some insurance. Come on, guys. Time to pop. Big oh my god, I saw the cops. Uh, let's go to a paint spray. There are none. Nice. Or this. So, what's the plan? Martinez is bringing in that big ass shipment Forbes was rapping about. We're gonna rip it off. Martinez? Oh, this might be a significant mission, guys, if I do recall right. So, honestly, calling it after this one might be actually. Knows anyone can join as long as they pay, but if they choose not to, they better live with the consequences. Let's Ora! You're our new first GTA glitch that I've seen. With hey, yes. Fucking uh, cops. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't even know what to call that. Swinging left to right. I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you what, boy. I'll tell you what. Too. Oh my god, even better. No, 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 no. Are they gonna stay in there? Okay, yeah, stay in there. Oh my god, that could have gone bad. I'm an idiot. There was like some fiberglass or something that allowed me to drive over that seafood part too, but I guess it was. I'll take a look and see what's happening. You're... You two just sit tight and make sure our exit is clear. This is about to get ugly. Clearly. Fucking dude, Lance, you literally need to stop fucking getting a, a, ahead of me. Your ass is always gonna get shot and die. Fuck, dude, I'm glad I got that armor though. Damn. All right, what are we supposed to do? Uh, get in the truck. Damage. All right. So keep the damage low. Take it away to the 666. Is the factory beautiful? Try to keep up, man. I'm a bad okay. driver. You said it. Johnson, help make a proper people self-sufficient. I hope one day to meet this woman, Bonnie Knight, and 
love your American TV and your zebra. Dude, okay, yeah, you weren't lying. Kill that guy. It's his fault. So the people own the factory. Uh, There's people behind yeah. us. Who? Uh, me. Like I said, John. Yeah, you, there is. If you ever need something, you let me know. I got some rebel fighters who fuck people up for you. I got women who can suck their silver off the trade tables on my private jet. I got great flow, man. Listen, baby. Catching up, Lance. Fuck guys, I didn't even talk about the halftime show. It was actually pretty dope. I, I tend to forget how many hits Rihanna actually had. Whenever I first heard it, I was like, ah, you know what? I don't know. Right? And uh, it was it was quite impressive. The setup was good. Everything was cool. I do not agree with our Rihanna performing while pregnant. But I know they all did that shit for a statement. I'm not a doctor. I, I don't know if that affects the baby or not. But I'd assume so, especially... If you're putting your body under kind those kinds of stresses. Oh fuck. Yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. Holy fuck, man. That is fucking crazy. Let me get that weapon. Bro. That was fucking stupid. But yeah, I don't agree with Rihanna uh, performing while pregnant. Uh, that's, that's just not me. Like I said, I'm not a not a a doctor, but it, I'd assume it it should affect the baby in some way. Putting your body under that kind of stress, anxiety, and also to um that fucking sound that shit's loud as fuck you know what i mean that's just that's that's just me i'm not her she can do whatever the fuck she wants i don't really care <laughs> fucking stupid we're gonna make it shut up close your eyes or when you're soaring perfect <laughs> perfect i could do that <laughs> Uh, no, I need to go get that body armor first, then I'll help him. Oh my god, dude, I'm fucking over here shooting Lance. Dude, why can't you shoot when you're up against a fucking a flat object, man? Oh, Lance is about to die. Okay, thank God. Can I skip this shit too? No, I can't. To give away to the six hundred and looking the right way to go after your prey. Keep up, man. I'm Shut the fuck up. You said it. And make sure you use the right bait. I mean, I use a stink bait by rubbing night crawlers or grubs on my junk. Yeah, overall, like, Real the performance nice. itself, it's I think it was pretty good. My junk. <clears throat> it's true. They still talking about it in the platoon. Every time we get back together, every single Memorial Day, we always hear about the smell of his junk. Yeah. Hey, when you're in a foxhole, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, Lance. Water I'm getting fucked up. I'm getting fucked up. I believe I'm lighting out. Bro, the where? Why aren't our drivers like protecting us? Don't lose Vance. I'm fucking trying not to. I'm losing you, man. Where are you? Shut the fuck up. I'm already halfway damaged, and I still have to deal with that crazy ass dude. Uh, this is a pretty cool introduction, though, to uh, the second island. This is crazy. All right, pay attention now. It's always a hoot. Now, the way I see it, something's gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? Man's gotta eat. That's right, man. You know what I do? 
my rod tip, dancing on the edge of the water, just waiting for a big, wet bite. You want to see? Uh, no, no, I do not. Look, when you catch that big one, that's what I'm trying to say. You got a rifle in the throw. Feels so good to pin something to the ground. You know? <laughs> that doesn't mean I pass. Come on. Oh my god, dude. This is literally mission and fucking possible. Look, the damage. The fucking damage of the stupid truck. Come on, dude. I'm, I'm just gonna ride behind you. Yeah, because you could do stupid shit like that, and I can't. Come on, Lance. Hey, I'm glad we're on the second island, though. That shows progress. Now, that didn't do shit to my wheels. Thank God. That looks promising. I'll take that. That looks promising as fuck. We haven't Fingers sold crossed. this shit yet. We better. I just bought us both fancy apartments. We're mortgaged to the hilt. We're supposed to be getting out of this shit. We are. But I gotta do it in style. I got a reputation to uphold. 3,000, that's it? Ugh. Well, fuck, dude. I'm gonna call it right there. Um, I don't... This fucking game kind of pissed me off today, but... Yeah, if you're watching this on Twitch, head over to YouTube. If you're on YouTube, go over to Twitch. You already know the deal. Yo, Dumzo Denino. Dumzo Denino. Thank you for tuning in. I will catch you guys in the next part of GTA Vice City Stories. Until then, peace and fucking chicken grease. I'll be uploading shorts throughout this week. This coming up week is going to be challenging. I'll see when I stream. Probably going to be on Thursday, Friday monday or tuesday so look out for that shit uh but yeah catch you guys on the next one peace and fucking chicken grease